But I was supposed to uh, tell a couple of stories. So one of those stories was, uh, see, he lived on Central Park West in, 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 the early, in the late 50s and early 60s. And uh, several, so several stories came out of there. And one of them was that I, I had, uh, see, I had this very little piece that I traded to him for something else that he traded to Bob Irwin. And we had a three-way trade of some sort. And so uh, I remember him telling me that he came out of his apartment and he got down, he caught, hailed a cab and he was carrying this sculpture. And the cab driver jumped out of the car and says, what have you got there, a motorcycle? And he says, would I be hailing a cab if I had a motorcycle? So that was Henry's humor. And uh, that was one, one of those funny stories. <laughs> Did, did Geltzahler come and see, did, when you had a studio in New York, did he come in there and look at your work? Yeah, he, he, he came in, and he'd come out to the country when he wanted to get away. And let's see, and then one time he was, I was going to take him to the guy, I, I remember I had this Volkswagen v Beetle, and it was the first new car I had ever had, a 59 Volkswagen. So we're sitting in the, outside of the, let's see, outside of the Cedar Bar, and it's late in the early morning, and, and uh, so we get in and start driving, and we almost get up to the George Washington Bridge, because I had this little, I lived in Rockland County. And we get up, and look in the back, there's Bill de Kooning asleep. Uh, I says, I had to pull over. I says, so Henry and I had this decision to make, whether we should just keep on going <laughs> or take him back, and I said, well, you, you know how he feels, you know, if he gets above 14th Street, he, his nose bleeds. So we had to, so we, we took him back downtown. 